Hi, I'm Nikolai and I am from Galileo Sky Company. In this video, we will try to answer, perhaps, the most frequent question that our technical support gets. How to find the fuel level data in the CAN bus of the vehicle? It's quite simple. You will need a device that is connected to the CAN bus of the car, a laptop with the latest configurator version, and, naturally, the fuel itself. This example will be carried out on Toyota, Toyota Land Cruiser 200. We will add fuel 5 liters at a time and search the CAN scanner for required data at the same time. Let's set the highlight period for longer, so not exceed data would appear and use the same period when we add fuel. Slowly refuel. Watch for changes. Here we can see the parameter which grows with the fuel. The 617 identifier, the sixth byte. It changed during refueling. Now the volume is small. The car simply may not register such a small volume. But the value has changed again. Now we will reach 5 liters. 5 liters. We have seen these parameters. This one has changed. If you look at the decimals, there is 88. It's a little over a quarter of a tank now. So, 88 is hardly a value. Not a large one. That fits the fuel level. All of it's most likely in two bytes, but it's probably not FF since it's most likely empty data to fill the IDs. Let's try to pick the value. 22785. Doesn't look like the current result. Let's try to read in backwards. It's 345. So, let's check the value in the tank. Well, the fuel tank is almost half full. That's roughly fits. Let's try to add 5 more liters and see how this value changes. Here the value is changing. 10 liters were added. It seems like it's identifier 617 and the fifth, sixth byte and the fuel seem to be shown with a coefficient of 1 to 10. Let's add another 5 liters of fuel to ensure the accuracy of the measured volume. Now the value is 414. If we divide in 10, the value will be 41.4. Let's add 5 more liters. And if our guess is correct, we should get about 46.4. So, we added 5 liters. Let's wait until the float calms down for about 15 to 20 seconds. And the messages come with a delay of a bit more than 2 seconds. We can see that the value is now 46.3. It was 41.4. Thus maybe the fuel pump is off by 100 grams. Well, to finally make sure, since we have 20 liters, we are going to add the last 5 and we should get the value of 513, if my calculation is correct. Exactly, 20 liters. Let's wait for the floor to calm down and account for the message delay as well. So, don't worry that you haven't found anything. Take note of the time period and quantity of the received messages.
It's 5.08 now, which is close to the truth. Let's wait for one or two messages. Take note, the quantity section shows the number of received messages and the period of time when they appear. So, you may understand how long you should wait for the message. Now the value is 508. It was supposed to be 513. Well, either the sensor is not that accurate or the gas pump is slightly off. With that, the search for fuel data is over. The identifier is 617, fifth six byte. And right now, the value has changed to 510. It means that you need to give more time for the averaging of the fuel search values, because it's not that fast. Include filtering from agitation during movement, so the needle on the dashboard doesn't jump around. Everything is sent to the server in two clicks. Choose the bitrate, apply it, Go to the protocol tab and check the same CAN type – CAN16 or CAN8. Mark it on the transfer and it goes to the server. Then it's enough to do the calculations. Divide by 10 and you would get the value we want. As a bonus at the end of the video, let's add the rest of the fuel until the tank is full. We added 10 more liters. and see the value that we would get in the CAN bus. How it will update. Now the value is 615 and we will try to fill it completely. So, the viewers will know the maximum value of the tank, in order to refuel without reading the documentation in the future. The values are growing. It's also a proof to the fact that we have found the correct ones. And now, if the calculations are correct, it should be 94 liters. Well, it's 93.7 here. So, a small difference is allowed here. The car is at an angle. So, either the gas station or the sensor are mistaken. After watching this video, I hope you will agree that finding the fuel data in the CAN bus sounds much harder than it really is. It's rather simple. Add fuel and see what's changing. Repeat the process several times. Find the right identifier, conduct the calibration, if needed, and send the data for the client to the server. I hope that now you can always assure your client that if there is fuel data in the CAN bus, then you will definitely find it. Write your comments, leave your likes and subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.